Questions and answers. Yep, what you've all been wanting. Again. So, I kind of haven't seen a lot of these, but I've wrote every question down that we've had off Facebook. Remember, you had to post it on Facebook. So, the first one is from Charlotte Land. And it is, what made you go full time and would you go back to a house? We had this planned to live in the motorhome full time for a few years. Yeah, we had it in a Z, didn't we? Yeah. Um, we was in a job which was quite demanding um, and then basically we said right we've had enough um, so we went out and we bought the motor home didn't we we just racked up a savings until uh, we could afford it and then we did it and we bought it and then and then we uh, give us notice in it as jobs and went full time in the motor home basically that's it and we wanted to travel so that's what we did travelling I know things have changed now uh, because we're the Tumor Twins um, but we're only stuck in one area because of that otherwise we'd be off travelling. Yeah we would be travelling. Um, we're not going to get away next weekend have one's fixed. <laughs> yeah we are going away next um, weekend. It's our friend's 50th birthday so we'll yeah. go down. Yeah that should See be a, a good night out that. Hopefully. A good weekend. Yep. Yeah. And you could do wax flow in there. And also, are you going to be the target? At the at the camp the camp plat site we're on, it's got a big massive swing. You can swing out over a cliff. Being the weight limit is there? Yeah, I've already checked, and it's up to forty stone, so I'm all right. Just, just. <laughs> Do you want a punch? <laughs> right, next that? next one is for you. It's a question for you. And what, Chrissy what's, Plant. Hang on. What's the name? Chrissy Plant. Chrissy Plant. Hi. And she wants to know how do you do your thumbnails? She said, to be exact, how do you do your thumbnails? The ones that are on the videos, not the ones on your hands. <laughs> you mean the ones where you go? Yeah, I think she means the writing and stuff like that. I don't know what she means, but she wants to know how you do a thumbnail. How do you do a thumbnail? Basically, what, how we do a thumbnail, whatever's in the video, we use. So basically, if we've got a th our face expressions like, <sighs> like so, what you do in the editing software is just chop out that face and put it over top of a picture and then you've just got to find a title really we tend to obviously youtube likes you to clickbait a little bit don't it a lot we of only clickbait click if it's going to be in the video though yeah it, all our thumbnails are in the video unless it's a review and then we have to make something funny because most reviews are quite boring aren't they? reviews as you can tell yeah, I like putting stuff, funny stuff in now and again. So yeah, but you are good at editing. There are funny but it's, videos. It's it's all about the software. So Richard Coxon wants to know what do you what? enjoy most about van life? No, what's the name first? I've just said literally Richard Coxon. Hi, Richard Coxon. <laughs> Would like to know what do you enjoy most about your van life? What do I enjoy most? I enjoy travelling. Same, although we're not travelling at the moment. Because Hey Pews on Tour YouTube family, if you're loving the content, here's a quick reminder to hit that subscribe button and, and leave a comment. comment. Your support means the world to us. If you live in a house you still could travel, which is exactly the same, but our scenario, we, we prefer to live in the motorhome. Um, it is more expensive living in a motorhome than it is in a house sometimes, but the travelling lark is tumor twin number one can't fly. So that was another reason we bought the motorhome. But personally, if you got a flight from England to Spain, then got a hotel and stuff like that, I find it cheaper just driving there and doing everything off grid in the motorhome and still going self catering. Yeah. So what I like most about my life is all my stuff's here all the time. And the best thing about them motor home as well when you're driving around if you want a brew you can pull over and That's have a brew I mean. if you need a toilet you can pull over and go to if the toilet if I need to make here everything's here because if I go away I'm in this life is easier living in a motor home for us it is <laughs> 
The next question's from Abby Powdrill. Abby, Abby, Pow- I know Abby Powdrill. Yes. Abby Powdrill, she took Abby, the Powdrill Abby. name because her name was supposed to be Abby Pew. Oh, was it? But she got stole off me. Mike Steeler did it. Mike, Mike stole her off me. Abby wants to know, do we miss her? Of course we miss we her. Miss, we miss a lot of people, but we don't miss her. And I miss seeing the kids because they're like, not, not like this now. And I'll put a picture up, Abby, of what my toenails look now. <laughs> they were. And that's what they look like now from that picture that you've just seen. And I still need my toes doing. <laughs> Abby is a nurse. I would put a picture up of her on this video, but due to data protection and what job she does, uh, unfortunately, I can't put a picture up. It's a shame that we'd have got a good thumbnail off that. She's <coughs> yeah, we'd have got a good. That had, got that had pure being. No, it wouldn't have been clickbait because she is fit. She's a she's fit in nurse the as video. well. She's very fit. She Believe me, if there's something right. wrong with you. You really, really need to go to the hospital that she works to, which I won't give the name, and... Because he doesn't know. <laughs> I don't want to know, because I think I met myself poorly. <laughs> like, cutting myself and stuff oh. like that. Can't beat a fitness. Next question's off Sue Taylor. Hi, Sue Taylor. And Sue Taylor uh, says, where did we get married? <laughs> I want to see if you that know. That is a long question. I want to see if you know where we got married. We had to get married. Uh, have to get married. We did. I did my bit for charity. You did you bit, it was ta- years ago. It was for tax reasons. When you worked, you got when you were married, it was cheaper tax, wasn't it? So straight off to the register office, and, and we did. We got married. And we did six weeks. Leeds register office. <laughs> wrong. Wasn't it? Absolutely wrong. Where was it? Hull registry oh, office. <laughs> Well, never mind. Wow. It was a shit day anyway. So, yeah, we just got married. Uh, we just went to the registry office and got married. I didn't even have a dress until two days before, and then he kicked off because I won't wear a dress. So we were quite selfish, actually, weren't we, about that? Because how it worked out is we got married in Hull Register Office. I really remember I was just testing you. And then what we did, we went with a meal for my parents, didn't we? Yeah. And they all said, all, all his friends and family went, right, where's the after party? And I went, we're not having one out money that we've got. We're uh, going on holiday. And this I think is a bit embarrassing. I what about the reception that we had in 147? Did we? Yes, we did. We went for a meal with your parents and we had a reception for 100 people at 147. Oh, did we? Wow. <laughs> I told you it was shit there. Yeah. We did fly away to Tunisia the next day. We did, yeah. 15 days, it was glorious. No kids. And that's the only reason we got married. Tax break. And I don't no kids. I guess I got my wedding room. Yeah. Well, totally. yeah, I got married to. Yeah. yeah. Well, you'd think you'd remember, wouldn't you? Because you've only been married once, but there you go. Got a question off Lisa Higgs. <laughs> Hi, Lisa Higgs. I know that name. Lisa says, can you tell us where Samara Caravan Park is? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I did say I was going to put in every question that was asked. Right. Samara Caravan Park is... I'll put all details in description. Right, your next one's for you. It's from Craig Stanton. Hi, Craig. Hi, Julie. Hi, Craig. Julie, yeah, we know them, don't Hi, we? Um, Craig says, what's your title music and how does it spin? I'm guessing he means how does the thing spin at the beginning. Oh, that's called editing. And the title music, don't tell people what our title music is. And the title music is... Don't tell is, anybody, no, seriously. Nobody the ever. title music is copyrighted because I were making videos when we first started out, well, I don't know, a few months ago, people were just copying everything, uh, which you'll probably find when you watch other tubers, and it, some videos are quite similar, so our music is just ours, we got it made for us, and it is copyrighted, so nobody can use that music, so even if I give you it, you can't use it. So there you go. So are we not bothered about copying, we do it ourselves, we watch we don't copy but you, you watch other YouTubers and you see an idea and you, you see get an it's idea, good don't you? but I didn't want anybody else to have our music I just didn't so the next question is from Te- Trev Trev Hughes oh hi Trev I'm one of our Patreons oh is he yeah. hi Trev so he says do we go to North Wales at all we do occasionally well like I said we haven't been nowhere this year uh, so far but we are going to Wales this year and we are going to North Wales. We are going to North Wales because I want to go to Penman Point. We're going back to Penman Point and I think we're going to spend a good couple of weeks there because 
we went on a weekend away with Rich Biz Life Adventures. Well, we actually bumped into them, that's and where we, we met them. That's where we met them. Uh, go check them guys out. Uh, it is Penman Point, and we've got a video on it as well at Penman Point. And what it is, you're parked up on a beach, but the water is water in it. But the water on a night turns blue, something to do with the pigments in the water. But we didn't see it on that time, so we are going to go back and we are going to try and score it. Stay for a few days and try and get that. But also the and wildlife there was amazing. Yeah, the wildlife were great. And Richard, if you're watching, because I know you are, we'll have to arrange it and do the same thing what we did last time. Yeah, it was a good week, wasn't it? So next question's from Jamie Parker. Hi, Jamie Parker. And Jim Parker wants to know what UK destinations have we got planned to go to in our motorhome? Yes, we have. We've got North Wales. <laughs> yeah, we're going to North Wales. Pen I want point. to go to Scotland as well this year. We're doing Scotland this year. Um, we have got a plan in mind of what we're doing this year, but I don't really want to put it on YouTube because somebody will just copy the idea. So you'll find out later on in the year when that happens. He's talking um, about winter time there, people. Yeah, winter. And that is going to be a tour of somewhere. And we're going for October, November, December, well, as of, January, as of right now, February. Hopefully. Hopefully. I'm still getting checks every four. Well, it's now four weeks. I'm back again on the 22nd, yeah. which is next week. So it's three weeks at the moment. So once everything's sorted. But this is October end of the year. Uh, so we are going on this trip and it is going to take us a good five months hopefully so look out for that when it's coming uh, you've got a question from motorhome Moena hi hi Moena hi she comments on everything bless her <coughs> she does thank you for your support she, it really means a lot and I like your uh, thing you've just bought oh that's it that's a question all right so the question is if Gareth has a crystal ball when will they sell their bungalow to go full time Oh, right, right. Well, I saw that on your uh, YouTube video about your bungalow. Personally, I won't sell that bungalow. <laughs> it's nice. The, how it's big nice. that garden is. I'd uh, put 30 motorhome pictures in there. If you contact uh, the Caravan and Camping Club and inform the council, you can put five motorhome pictures in there for nothing. And then once you've had that couple of years, you can upgrade and get more in there. But you can have five in your garden. So, Danielle Kelly or Kale, whichever it's pronounced. Hi, Danielle, I'll say. Where is your favourite campsite in the UK? Wow. That is an hard one. Favourite campsite in the UK? Clearly, we're going to say it's Samara. <laughs> I'm going to hear it all the time. I won't say it's Samara. The honours are lovely. I won't say it's Samara. Because there's. The thing for me is, do you know why it's Samara? Because we don't want campsites with wild camp. When we're not here, we're normally wild camping. The best campsite I've had is probably Villa Sol in Spain. In UK? Oh, in UK. In the UK. That's why I'm saying this would be the best in the UK because we don't really camp in the UK. We've had a few in Scotland that were amazing. I don't know. We, we don't really do campsites we in the UK. We have done campsites, many campsites in the UK. Because we wild camp. We, we do wild camp. So I would say this one. I think it's Samara. I don't. I ain't got a pub. <laughs> Don't need a pub. Just I'm need a pub and a laundrette. Anything. This place will be sorted then. Oh, <laughs> and Paul stopped playing on his lawnmower on a Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> and stop tying stuff to your wing, wing mirrors. Yeah, and stop tying stuff to your wing mirrors like wind chimes and tie strapping <laughs> stuff. And, <laughs> Boys and the toys. So the next question is from Sarah Clough. Hello, Sarah Clough. So the first part of a question we've already covered with why do we move into our motorhome? Yeah. And the second part of a question is can we stay on our site all year round? No. Yeah, the question is that is a big no. <coughs> You'll find out on all campsites in England have a council rule of twenty eight and fifty six. Twenty eight and fifty six in it. But we're in and out, in and out. Also, the site we're on is closed December, January to everybody. Yeah. Nobody can be on this site December, January. It is a 12 month site, but they want a holiday as well. So basically, the gates get locked and that's it. It's that's closed. It. December, January, the site is closed. But so in a motor room, you, there's n not really a sp specific time frame because you can move and you go to and from all the time. 
it's like you go out now and again shopping and you go away for weekends away so it, it's like a Schengen thing also you, you've got to work it out that's why a lot of caravan sites don't want you to have a season pitch with a with a motor, with a motor on. on because you fall outside the realm of the t- 28 and 56 because you're not a caravan you're a moving vehicle that pays road tax yeah now a caravan is a bit different you know what I mean you season and that's it it stays there because that's what you're paying for but, but even when you season a caravan it's still 28 and 56 if you're coming on if it's a seasonal pitch you can stay Oh, I didn't know that, there you go. If you're coming backwards, you couldn't come on this campsite and stay 30 solid days. Right. You could stay 28 days, but then you have to disappear. Okay. There you go, I'm learning something new today. But different councils might have different rules. So the only way to check properly is by going on your local government website of your council and just put um, caravan and camping rules and all the details will come up, even the campsites like East Yorkshire for example what we're in if you go to the East Riding of Yorkshire and search East Riding of Yorkshire caravan and camping and campsite rules (coughs) that is the rules that the park have to abide and they can't change them yeah and that's not so when you some people like to moan at the people oh I don't want to stick to the rules the people who own the campsites don't make them the council make the rules yeah they They just got to abide the council of what the owner's saying some campsites will just put silly rules in there. Um, some do out there, but uh, rules are rules. If that's what the site wants, that's what the site wants. If it's in your contract, it's in a contract. So that's it. And our next question is from the Sims Go Walkabout. Hi, right, Sims Go Walkabout. I've watched a few of your videos actually. Oh, have you? Mm. I'm going to tell them I am not. So, first question the Sims Go Walkabout asks is, how did we meet? At work, we was in. I, I was telephone operator, and you was a taxi driver. I didn't meet you like that. He did. We met at Mount Taxi Firm. I met you in Leeds and call then. Shut up. Right. <laughs> did you meet me in Leeds? You met me in Morley. Well, I know that's in Leeds. Before anybody says out, I know. Oh, we're at no. Bradford Manningham Lane. Shut up. Who one of them? We worked at Morley Cars Taxi. Hello, Morley Cars. Two five two double two double two. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how I answered the phone. He's hello. No, I ain't got a taxi for an hour and a half, mate. It's Friday night. <laughs> Don Jolly. Oh. <laughs> and Gareth was a taxi driver. That's how we met. And then the Sims go walk about. Second question is, what's your favourite thing about each other? Don't really like him to be fair. There's not a lot of like about her, really. <laughs> it's just when you've been together so long. You... <laughs> Rude. He's what, quite funny. What is it to like? I, I, he's quite funny. I gave him that. She's not fit. I am. I'm just dyslexic, so I spelt it F A T. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree with that one. I, mean, I don't know. What do I like about it? Nothing, really. Thanks. I like that you like the same things as I do, but unfortunately, we wouldn't have been together 28 years <laughs> if we didn't, would we? The next question would be from Motorhome Mawinin again. Again? Yeah, she asked another one. Like a keyboard warrior, isn't she? No, this one's a good question, actually. Yeah? Is there any reason we don't have Starlink? Shit. Oh. And have we something else? So, the Starlink. We don't have Starlink because I'm lazy. And I'm not pissing about with moving. And for us, personally, Starlink is rubbish. If you're in shade of a tree, don't work. If you're in shade of a van or shade of a building, don't work it's expensive oh, there's so many places it doesn't work does not work and he's getting it out putting it on roof or getting it out and putting it outside it's just a nightmare i did inquire about it once but and it's ridiculous i've heard the reception's crap and i believe i don't know about i can't remember but last time i l- looked into it a long time ago it had a data cap on it as well. That's what I remember. I don't know if it does now. It might not now. I don't know. <coughs> but we use ours. We use a company called Rural Internet. And there is a video on it. You'll have to go back and watch it. Um, because basically ours is just a little box like that. It plugs in a 12 volt, which is in a cupboard. And they supply the SIM card. It's £55 a month, 
and it is unlimited and when I say unlimited it is 20 billion gig plus a month you can use that's in England now when you go abroad it's exactly the same there's no data caps whatsoever but it's a data sim only which goes into their box that you buy I will say there's 55 quid that's it when you go away after your 90 days away so after your 90 days still 55 quid it's they say it says in the contract that it goes up to 65 once you've but it, we've never had that have we never had that it's always been 55 it's always been the 55 but it does say that in the contract so they might well do that but they haven't for us and as is in the cupboard all the time so yeah. wherever this fan is whether it's parked whether it's moving because it's on 12 volt we actually have it plugged into the uh, power bank don't we so it's on permanent so it's so on permanent uh, so well, uh, whether our van's moving or whether it's par uh, parked up we have as long as you're in the van we've got internet so when we go abroad on my mobile phone i turn my data off and i use i basically connect to the rover internet which basically just gives us everything we need online uh, so when we're tra travelling it's permanently on like when we packed up it's permanently yeah, I love on rural it? and do you know what we've never ever ever had a problem with it no and I did email them once asking for a discount code to promote it but they won't do that it's just 55 quid that's it's it. just 55 quid and the thing is though to be fair I'd still promote it it's that good without giving the discount yeah. it, for us it's, it's amazing I won't go with we've anybody had, else We've had some slow areas with it, but we've never been without the internet. Who have we got next? Julie Dawson. So I feel like Julie Dawson might be our furthest away subscriber. Hi, Julie Dawson. Where, where is she from? Julie Dawson. I've wrote it on it. She's from Canada. Canada? She's from Canada. She's Canadian. We've got a su subscriber from Canada. Hi, from Canada. I can't and drive there. She wants to know where Gareth's from in Leeds. Where am I from? Mm hmm. In Leeds. I've lived all over. Yeah, but where are you from? You're from... My mother. Temple Newton. I'm from my mother. Temple Newton. Gareth's a posh boy. Oh, was... I grew up on a council estate. I grew up on a posh estate. Orchard Cross when I was a kid. It's a funny story here. So Gareth grew up on Orchard <laughs> Cross. I lived on Orchard Lee, which is the next street over. And after me and Gareth had got together and our parents met, I remember when my mum met Gareth's dad. Do you remember, Kev? And the first thing she said to him was, you run my cat over on your motorbike. <laughs> so it turns out we'd lived on the next... When we was kids and we didn't know, we'd lived on next street to each other. <laughs> yeah. And Gareth's dad run my cat over. Thanks yeah. for that, Kev. <laughs> then I went to Harold's. Then I went to Temple Newsom, which I grew up... Oof. About three doors away from Billy Bremner. Yeah, you lived near Billy Bremner, didn't you? Yeah. We used to put his windows through every year on you on uh, mischievous now. You're not supposed to say that. He's dead, no? Yeah, but you're still not supposed to say that's what you did. Oh uh, right. Okay. It was a nightmare, as you can tell. He used to shout at us all the time. <laughs> I wonder why. Not for that. When you walk past his garden. Oh, so not nice. No, I think they were upset because we used to nick his apples. That probably be why. <laughs> we were kids. So, yeah, thank you for that question, Julian. Thanks for watching from Canada. It's a lot yeah. like that. So we've got a kid from Canada. Is there anybody further that watches us? I'd like to know that. Put in comments. Yeah. Next question. Or put in comments where you're all from. Next question. It's from Sid Smith. Hey, Sid Smith. This is going to be a Gareth question because I don't know. Are we going to win the <coughs> Warner shows this year? I don't know. We're booked on a few shows, aren't we? We're booked we? on a few shows. Uh, Warner shows, I ain't got a clue. I ain't got a clue, we haven't really looked into it. We've been concentrated on as medical self yeah. and working to fund this trip of this five month well, venture like where we're going. Might as well work, you're just going to sit here doing no all day, aren't you? Yeah. Replenish um, your savings a little bit. So we don't know, the answer is as of right now is any of the shows that we're booked on it's Warner I don't think they are now I don't think we, we're not booked on any Warner shows at this moment in time but we'll update you yeah, on that as we go into them yeah so the next one is from Paul Hilton Senior that's a long name sounds posh that you sound posh Paul hi Paul 
Paul Hilton Senior asks, we seem to use a lot of gas. Is our electric metered? So this is quite a oh, complex question. Yeah, it is. It's um, in our motorhome. We've gone through it many a times, but we'll say it again. I don't think we ever have on the camera, you know. We? No. Our motorhome uses gas, which gas items are the cooker and the fridge. Our cooker and our fridge is always on the gas. The reason being is we run our motor home off solar. Even though we're so seasoned on the caravan park, Lisa Higgs from Samara Caravan Park, <laughs> we don't, hardly don't use any electric because our fridge is running off gas, not electric. So we tried it one week. We did everything on hookup on the campsite for a full week. We did the gas heating for the boiler to do the shower. Yep. We used the electric for the fridge, but we did use the gas for the cooker, but we didn't we didn't use the cooker electric hob because it just trip, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> and yeah. That in, it. in the long run, it works out so, cheaper running and off it the gas than it does the electric. It worked out nearly £110 for week, didn't it? Yeah, but we ran everything off it. But we we ran everything. The so, heating, the water, everything. So we tried it another week. We got these meters done, read meter reads done weekly. And then we did it another week where we put the fridge onto gas. The cooker is always on gas. And we used the heating on gas, but we was just plugged in only. So it was just chopping up, topping up the leisure batteries so we could use the 12 volt and the, our TV, our 32 inch TV. And we used 25 pound, no, not so. No, it was eight quid for we the week. We used eight pound for the week. Yep. 25 quid for the month, wasn't it? That was la last month's electric bill yeah. was 25 pound total for the whole so month. So if we turn off like we are now, because the sun's high in the sky, and we at work all day and we come home, we don't need to be plugged into the mains at all. We, so we're always on gas. And as gas, we usually go through two gas bottles in about a month, and they're about £13 each to fill up. So I don't think they're expensive, because we've got the easy fill, you see. So we just refill them at the yeah. petrol station. You've got Morrison's, fill it up, it's done. Yeah. I do think going gas is cheaper. It is hard to find gas. But they'll never ever stop gas, even though there's rumours of them stopping gas, but they can't stop gas. And why can't they stop gas? It's because there's gas cars. They can't stop people's cars, can they? <coughs> Fort trucks, I'd like to see them stop that. I know it's a different gas, but it's still gas. So, next. Next question is from Kaz and John Grayson. Hi, guys. Hey, Kaz. And John. And John. <laughs> Grayson. And would we consider going to Derbyshire? Derbyshire? Derbyshire. Derbyshire. Is that what it is? Derbyshire? Yeah. We will be coming to Derbyshire. We, we'd we'd pass it all the time. Anyway. We'll be passing it next weekend, actually. Um, but yeah, we, we pass there quite a lot. See, where we are in East Yorkshire, to get anywhere down south, we have to pass that anyway. Tell us where there's a good pub stop, Kaz and John. How's about that? Yeah, yeah, give us a good pub stop. We'll arrange something. We'll come and meet us for a pint. So the next one's off John, and I didn't write last name. So hiya, John. Hi, John. John wants to know who your top three YouTubers are. Top three? I know mine straight off the bat. Yeah. Dusty Thunder. Yeah. Charlotte Dobre. Yeah. And Shits and Gigs. Yeah. I've only got one good YouTuber. I like him. Well, I did like him. I don't like him no more, because he stole all my... He copied <laughs> all my ideas, all my videos... He copyrighted me, he stole all my music, that's why we've got his own music. Um, and I just had a big falling out with him. Uh, so <laughs> now I just don't watch him anymore. And he took my subscribers as well. Do you know what I just thought about? Do you know who I'll oh. name and shame him. Mr Beast. Mr Beast. Yeah, I knew he was going to say that. Took them all. It's the only person he watches. No, I don't. And I've got another one. King in it. I was just going to say to you, do you think when he says, who are your top three YouTubers? Yeah. Do you think he means motorhome people? Uh, the straight away I'm, I'm telling him who I watch the most on YouTube and I just realised he might actually mean YouTubers. Oh. King in it, camper vibe. If it was motorhome people, just king in it and camper vibe, I think, for me. 
You don't really watch anybody else. I don't really watch anybody else. And they come up with videos, don't they? Oh, do you know what I do like? I like the informative videos of the room in Bradford's. Oh, do you? I do like the informative they video, ones. Don't they? they do make a good video. All their channels. Now there's loads, I could name loads of YouTubers and think, I watch them all, yeah. think they make amazing videos and I love watching them, um, so I'm not dissing anybody, I know I know, I know a lot of you, um, but I don't think there's any YouTuber I don't like. Yeah, there's, there's, too like many to, there's too many to mention, isn't there? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, this, I watch them all, don't I? I watch them all. Yeah. Um, and I love watching them all, I love watching people travel, I love watching people safely travel, having fun, making videos, I love it. Um, like I said, I don't really. You can't hate people in life because it just, just. I just don't do that. Can't be bothered with it. There's a few that don't like us. <laughs> yeah, the. the and we don't care. <laughs> yeah, if you don't like us, unsubscribe and disappear because we don't give a shit. Um. And we always get a couple of thumbs down, and it's them same people all the time as well. Is it? Does it yeah. tell you who thumbs down you? Yeah, because there's some software that you can download, Thanks. and it tells you. Thanks for your thumbs down. Do they realise they're yeah. still interacting with us? Thanks. Yeah. You're still interacting with us, so you put me in algorithm, so thanks. Yeah. Still doing a thumbs down, thumbs up. Thumbs down don't mean anything, by the way. It doesn't affect your status. Do people actually put thumbs down on them? A couple, yeah. Oh. But putting a thumbs down in a video I doesn't affect your status I anymore. I think the thumbs down's for you, because clearly nobody's giving me a thumbs down. No, no. That must be yours, then. Same people every time. Yeah. But I don't mind, because every time they click it, the pain is anyway. Yeah, so thanks. So it's them that are losing out, isn't it, yeah? So, and it's like we don't get involved in all the drama either. I mean, I'll read all the comments because I'm a nosy cow, but yeah. we don't get involved in it. The last question is off Paul we got a, The last question? It's off Paul Higgs. It might be a three hour video, this. It's off Paul Higgs. Paul Higgs? Oh my God. What's Paul he saying? want? He would like to know, why do you keep having to fix your seat in the van? <laughs> oh, you mean the seat that kept breaking? It's because you've got two fat bastards sat on it. I never sit on this seat. I yeah. mean, I am now, but I never sit on this seat. Yeah. It broke once because I was sat on it, and it just collapsed because it was just holding in the staples. Fat bastard. Yeah. <laughs> Every time it's broken, it's sat on it. The other time was when Cameron Diaz come round and it broke. I won't explain that family show. Rings. And he woke up on it, his Weetabix. <laughs> Every time it's broke, though, you've been sat on it. I'm just putting it out there. Yeah, it's all right, moment because it's counterbalanced. To where I might be a bit higher than you. Um, you calling me fat? Well, you did say you were fit with dyslexic means fat. <laughs> you look nine months pregnant. I know. Right, is that all the questions? Why? Because this video has probably rambled on for two hours. Well, it is a question and answer. Uh, yeah, I know. They wanted to listen to them, and that's it. There's actually it. no more questions. Right, guys, if you want another questions and answers, we don't care what it is. You can be horrible, vile, funny, we do not care. So pop over to our Facebook page and stick it on there. We'll pin it at top, stick some more on there, and then when we've got enough, we'll make another vlog as well. I was going to say, what we're going to do is, because we have quite a few questions coming, so we're going to do it every four to six weeks. I don't want to be doing it every week. No. But we'll do it every, every... When we get enough questions, we'll do one. So if you want to ask us anything... Yeah. Anything embarrassing for Gareth? Yeah, anything. Anything. Don't be shy. He's not. And, I, and our lass's mother wasn't either. So don't be shy. <laughs> don't be this my mum. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get her ashes out. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm not giving Freaking her out. out. She's yeah. haunted. Right, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for all the new subscribers. Thank yes. you for the old subscribers sticking with us. And thank you for the people that have bought the coffees, because we have had a lot of coffees, haven't we? Have we? Yeah, we, Good, we should be saving them. How do you think we've had all these costas? Can't afford all them. <coughs> so thank you very much yeah, for that. I and just spend money and put it on the card. Yeah, and a big thank you for the donations as well. We've had a few of them Thanks, guys. Lately. We really do appreciate it, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. I know it's boring saying it, but the more you like, the more you comment, the bigger we grow. Yeah. And truth be told, by the end of this year, are you listening to me, fuckers? I don't want to be working a butty van. I want to be travelling every day. I want to be vlogging every day, and I can only do that if you help me build the channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, whatever. If mm. you're like Gareth, will get naked. We've just lost all the subscribers. <laughs>
lost them all. They've all gone. <laughs> Trying to get views, nakedness gets views. That's no it? clickbait, is that? I can tell you. No clickbait. So if you want some clickbait, it's like fishing bait. We're gonna like it. If you want <laughs> some clickbait <laughs> videos, we're gonna have to do some meetups with some fit people. I just need to go back to Benidorm and get that uh, Veronica on again. Yeah, it did well that video, didn't it? I got <laughs> copyrighted for that. <laughs> Why the music in the strip club? That that's what it is. No, no, I want the music. It was her. Because I got the message off YouTube because you were dancing around in a bikini. Well, that's a job. But it's all right. These women on YouTube and Facebook and TikTok who do yoga are bending and sticking the fannies on camera. I was going to say, I literally saw a video the other day on YouTube of a girl. Yeah. And a cosy, it was a piss was hanging out either side yeah. of the cosy. So and they get away with it. You couldn't so see nothing. Know. Veronica was dressed very tastefully. Yeah, so I don't know how they get away with it. I don't. Honest to God, she had the worst piss flaps. I'll show you the video in a minute. No, but I can't see you wearing a bikini anyway, love. I wear a tankini. And if you've got one of them bikinis, your piss flaps are going to be in your knees, no, aren't they? Yeah, everything of mine is tucked in appropriately. And it Nobody wants to see that. They're going to be in your tits get as well. Up. Everything is tucked in appropriately where it's meant to be. Other than my flabby belly. Because we've got, we, that reminds me, we've got a lot more duct tape. Right. <laughs> Guys, catch you on the next one. I'm just going to go and pull all the hairs off his legs. <laughs> Don't, I didn't hurt you, did it? No. Say bye. Did that, that day you flinched. Love, I've got a nerve blocker in my system. Oh, yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why you didn't flinch. You used to 